Now, all of this week, we're going off the beaten path with VOA's roving web correspondent, Nico Columbant, to look at the Liberian community in the U.S. state of Rhode Island. And now in part two of today's segment, Nico focuses on Liberians helping out each other. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine. Yeah. Can we, can we have some setup? Yeah, we came today to come and check on you, check your blood pressure. Thank you. Thing. How you been feeling? All right. Yeah? How's your medication? Fine. You been taking them? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. She only takes two pills here, you know, I can see. Two pills. Oh my God, this is mine. I see I have only two pills that you take. What is that? Oh, this is for your allergy. You, take, you, have, you have allergies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. My name is Elaine. Trap. I am the um, I'm a nurse practitioner, registered nurse practitioner in Rhode Island. I'm the president for the Liberian Nurses Organization of Rhode Island. This uh, organization was um, established in 2008, and we decided to organize it ourselves. Um, it started off with five other nurses who felt that there was a need to actually help our community here. A mother selling stubble field. Some boy, boy, me. Some boy. I came 91. I've been here 18 years. And I enjoy being here because of my age. They are taking good care of me. In Liberia, we do have family helping one another. In America here, families do help, but because of the um, the changes here, the schedule, job, working um, different schedules, um, people are not so um, available all the time to help the elderly. A lot of our elderly live in high rise, like where we are right now. Uh, most of them um, really are alone like um, Mr. Stubbuffy, who is here by herself, they do need the help. They need to understand the reason why things happen the way they, they happen here in America. Uh, this is Martha Cargo uh, from Nima, from Butu. Like when they come newly and they don't know where to go and buy their food. When they come here, I give them free food and I tell them where to go. Uh, and so some of them, sometimes I give them place to sleep at my house and until some of them get on their feet. My name is Beatrice Mansfield from the Trumpet of Faith Pentecostal Church. Two nurses, Chad Brown Street is where we are located in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm the senior pastor of this church. Of course, we do help each other open up our homes. Like one like me, I open up my home to people that do not have food. People are shelter people, and that's that is what I've been doing since I came here. And I only preach the word, but I also, you know, teach. I also help feed people. I also house people, and it's very important. It's good for the soul. You feel better when you do that. So, you know, we always come together and help each other up because people just when they're just from Africa, they don't have anything. Some people don't have relatives here. And so, you know, it does not matter if, if you know, you are my brother or you are my sister. You know, citizens of, of, of Providence Rural Island, that's what we need to do. Help each other in that direction. I'm just checking to see if there's yeah. any. No. Any swelling. Mm -mm. You want to take it off? Oh, that's all right. Just checking your anchor and everything. Yeah, you don't want to take off. Take off. <laughs> Let me check your tools. 